Good morning. Here we are at Bull River. Bull River, here we are. And what are we doing today, Father? We're gonna do a big hike in a cave. We are going to the deepest cave north of Mexico, and we're gonna go in with some nice Walmart headlamps. Yes, and we hope to come out too. Yeah, very yeah. professional gear. Right now we're just cooking some delicious breakfast. And yeah, we're gonna do that. So, uh, Case, what do you know about this cave? Well, this cave is the largest north of uh, Mexico border. Yes, and what else? And it's around 1,300 meters deep. That's not true. Oh. It's nine, uh, 700, no, 600, seven, no, around 700 meters deep. Around 700 meters deep, that's still deep. And what else do you know about this cave? Well, it's from limestone, so there is beautiful, those uh, thingies that hang uh, from the ceiling, you know? Yeah. You excited for breakfast? Yes. All right. Let's give you one of these hash browns to get a plate. Yep. Oh, they're ready. It's gonna be hot though, eh? No, uh, let's do it. Use my hands. Holy smoke. That's good. What do you have here? I have here Saskatoon berries for my son Joe. Mm, thank you. Hold up your hand. Uh, try one. No, you have to eat them all. Mm. We're now on the road, going to Hartley Road, right? Right. To right. go to? Caves. Cave time. Look at this view. Stunning. Wow. Quad and yeah, the bush bush. Ah. And up. Instead of hiking, because we're lazy. Ow. Good. Yeah. We have made it to the trailhead. Hey. Eh? Are you excited? Yes, I am. Unbelievable, beautiful here. And so it begins. I'm ready. Up to the cave. Okay. Oops, okay. Now we cross the bridge over the roaring river. Oh. And then this here is moss. Moss. Just because of the way it is. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and this here is bridge number two. Hey! Huckleberries! Huh? Huckleberries, you dumbass. <laughs> Huckleberries, he says. Yeah. Huckleberries. <laughs> like her? No. <laughs> They're bitter. So we've decided to make a quick pit stop to uh, pick some huckleberries. Yeah, and they are for our mother and wife. Huckleberries. We've made it to the first checkpoint. We move in case. And it's called the Jumping Waters. Beautiful. Beautiful area. What do you think, Case? Yeah, we're signing by the Jumping Waters. It's very nice. Very nice. Beautiful. Like the waterfall? Yes. Yes. They were so nice to make all these nice steps for us. Here we have a view of some trees and a beautiful human specimen. Oh yeah. Now we're at the water gate where the water comes out of the rock. Crazy. What do you think of that? Yeah, that's abnormal. <laughs> abnormal. Got a bench. So, entrance of the cave, eh? Yeah. What do you think? I think it's huge. Descending into the cave. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dad, so it's 12 o'clock. What's our plan for this afternoon? 
plan is to go in that cave. We'll see how far we can go responsibly. We have uh, headlamps. I actually bought a $90 flashlight. From Walmart. From Walmart with 1500 whatever you call it. So our headlamps Lumens. are 120 Our flashlights are 220 This is 1500 Yeah, bright flashlight. So we'll, we'll see if we can get through the darkness. Look how big this cave is. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like All right, time to put on the gear. All right, going into the pitch blackness. We have to climb up a waterfall first. Just take the whole bag out that has all the stuff in it. There we go. Nice Walmart bag with our headlamps. All right, let's put on the gear. Oh, you look professional, Case. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Into the darkness. <laughs> This is a cave, boys. We're just going in. Hopefully there's no bears. There's water streaming through. We got no light anymore. Yeah, uh, we're uh, in the, nope, not at the end. It does get a little bit smaller here though, so hopefully it doesn't get too small right away. I don't really want to be crawling through, but we're in the cave now. Can't, re oh, there we go. Now you can see me. Um, not a lot of headroom, but that's okay. There's Case coming in. Watch out, that part's slippery. And we're gonna keep going. We got these rock formations here. Look at that, whoa. And just a pit, a lot of echo. There's some under here too, just a bunch of water, I guess. Yeah, this is cool, man. Love it for me. Look at these, you got the little stone towers. And the cake is real small here. Oh, that's all soft and gross. What? Disgusting. Yeah, that's probably still boring. It's Joel in front of me. I have a real bright flashlight. Watch it when I turn it off. This is how dark it is. Yeah, it gets a pretty tight spot here. Got to make sure we don't get stuck, eh, Case? How did you get through here? Joel is going down in the gate. You'll get very dirty. Get up again? Yeah, we'll be able to get up. So, uh, right now we're recording and we turned off all our lights. And without my phone like screen, you cannot see your fingers right in front of your face. <laughs> what the heck? You can't see anything really. Absolutely. You turn on your light, Dad. And what do you think you see? You actually don't see. Turn on your light. Oh, there we go. Nice. <laughs> Careful, eh? We walk back. We're gonna be black with that. Look how gross this stuff is, though. Far is to my feet, it, you're there. Watch out that your leg doesn't get you out there. Okay. You feel that? How gross it is? No. We're at a bit of a roadblock here because it seems to be filled with water. So we don't know how we don't get through that. Because how far do you go in? So a little bit disappointing. We didn't make it where we wanted, but that's okay. There's more caves to explore. But there's uh, the Bizarro Canyons too, which we might go up to, but we'll see. We'll uh, see if we took a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah. 
But otherwise, that might be the end of it already. Unfortunately, you can see all water droplets everywhere. It is pretty beautiful. Currently exploring a small piece, but it's quite a steep cliff up. So I better be very careful. We're closer to the entrance now, but I'm a good 20 feet up on this rock edge. But from what I can see with my light, it looks like a dead end. So, what did you think? That was absolutely amazing. Like, we didn't go as far as we hoped, but I think we did 200 meters. Yeah. And, <laughs> you know, I took on my sweater, but the space that is narrow, and you go through water in the whole shang shebang -shi. It was cool. <laughs> I liked it. And now we're going to try head to Bizarro Canyon. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. And we're going up to the canyons. It's pretty, pretty toasty in the sun. This is something to see, brother. Beautiful. Wow. Now we just gotta see a bear. We just gotta see a bear. Yeah. So I hear the canyon, and I see some water, and I see a bridge. And I reckon, oh, I should be, oh, be careful. Secure. like a bridge collapsed there once. We got the mountain overlooking us. We we just saw a bear across the canyon. It's somewhere across from us right now. Yeah, I see it. It's really hard to see probably on video, but I will put a red circle around him. I really hope I'm there. It's looking right at him. I'm standing on his back leg pretty much. Yeah. So now we saw a grizzly too, eh? Yeah, the first grizzly in a long time, and I never saw a grizzly hiking. That's awesome. So we tried to go up the very steep side of the mountain because I wanted to get higher than the bear so I could see it go down the valley because there's a lot of open area ahead. And it's too steep, too much shale. Now I'm in some bushes. I tried to bushwhack through it, but as you can see, there's just no way. So maybe head back down and... Joel ran up this mountain because there's a, a grizzly on the other side. Grizzly ran up the mountain too. We can't see him anymore. But Joe was really scared. I'm really tired. I was scared, of course. But no, that was a nice bear. We hope to be able to get up here. But we don't see it happening. No, he's coming down with a whole avalanche. Got dust in my eyes. You got dust in your eyes? I'm a, I'm a sweaty boy. Sweaty, sweaty. After the bear left, up to that hill, Joel dares to go down again. But it is very steep. Yeah, maybe a bear. 
You're holding on to your branches. So we did not succeed by making it up over this ledge to see the bear, unfortunately. Um, but it still was a good hike, a little bit, not really, on our way down, or me, myself, right there on all that shale there. Uh, I just lost grip and started to slide, and now my hands are cut up a bit and bruised, but that's okay. I'm pulling up with some water by the waterfall. Not to drink, to just cool off, because it is like, whoo, that's cold. It's like 30 degrees, it feels like. I don't even know how hot it is. But this is nice and cold. It feels very nice. All right, well, that pretty much wraps up our day. No way, man. What, what would you rate the, rate the hike and why? I said before Joel, I gave it an 8 out of 10 to the cave. And the cave made it a 9 out of 10. But this, this is called Flores. It makes it 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10, and yes. with the bear. Oh yeah, the bear, the creepy bear made it 12 out of 10. Yeah, I would say it's Especially 10 out of 10. Especially because it ran away. Yeah, it didn't kill us, so that's good. Or not yet at least. Hey, the mountain goat is gone. The mountain goat is gone, yeah, it is too. Well, yeah, great hike. Cave was a little bit disappointing, but it was still really good. And then this was beautiful. The bear was awesome. Mountain goat, fallen. Great times. Till the next vlog.